That's last week was opening day for baseball, but today is opening day for Orange Barrels. ODOT officially kicked off the busy construction season today. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska is live with the good news, bad news situation. Well, that's uh, exactly the case, Lee. You know, the good news is that some highways in our areas and in our area and dangerous intersections like this will finally get fixed. The bad news is it's going to take you some extra time dealing with this extra construction, as you can already see. It's a confusing, congested confluence of busy traffic and merging roads. 60,000 vehicles a day, 2,000 of them trucks, turning, crossing, entering from all angles, making this one of the most dangerous intersections in the entire region. 153 crashes in less than two years, more than 50 of them injuring people. It's certainly very confusing. Um, there are, have been a number of accidents. Today, ODOT mapped out a plan to make the corner of Carnegie and Ontario safer to drive and easier for people to park and walk to the ballpark and try C. For walkers and bikers in particular, right now you have very long crosswalks. And sometimes you have some guidance on when you can cross the street and sometimes you don't. So we're making improvements with the crosswalk lengths. Because of the new roadway, we'll be able to shorten those so it'll be a shorter distance across the street. We'll also be erecting some pedestrian signals that will tell you how long you have to get across the street. And a new road called the East 9th Street Extension opens in May, and that will allow trucks coming and going in the flats to bypass Carnegie and Ontario. The trucks that come into downtown right now have to sit in traffic at the intersection of Carnegie and Ontario. By removing those 2,000 large vehicles from the mix and putting them on a different route, it's certainly going to help folks get downtown a little easier. Well, let's hope so, because I can tell you this is definitely one of the busiest intersections in all of downtown Cleveland. ODOT also adding an extra lane on Ontario, and that'll make it easier to merge onto the Interbell South or I-90 West to get the I-71 southbound as well. And if you ever tried to merge from Ontario to the Interbell, you know it's a difficult uh, challenge right now at least. All of this expected to be finished by the end of the year, but expect backups like this in the meantime.